Hey everyone, it's me Hannah, and today I'm joined by Bucket, as always. I bought him, okay, so this little, can I see it for a minute, please? Yeah, he won't let me have it, okay. I bought him, like, this little football thing that you put treats inside, and he's been so obsessed with it. Um, he hasn't put it down all morning, so we may have solved our chewing problem. And also, the sun is extra bright today. I wonder if I could get away with shutting the blinds. One sec. So much better. I should have thought about that in the first place. So I just changed the blinds a little bit and it works a lot better. So anyway, so he'll be in the background probably this whole video. He's hilarious. He won't even let me. Oh, you got it. He got it. He got the treat up. Good. I didn't even know he could do that. So, okay. Today we are doing a full face of products I do not like. I'm not going to say hate because these products are not products I hate. They're just products that have gone to the side because I just am not a fan of them. Um, this is actually kind of risky doing this video on a day I'm going to go to work, but um, we're going to do it anyway. I need to wet my beauty blender. There we go. So I've seen this trend going around for quite a while now, sorry, um, and it's pretty much you take products that are just, you know, kind of in the back of your drawer, things you don't like personally, or products you generally just think that the uh, creator of it just really did a poor job on. I'm sorry if it's loud. My fault. Um, so I decided to do this video. I wanted to do more challenges on my channel. I did the husband does my makeup, which was so much fun. And I really, really enjoyed doing that with Jared. But now it is time for us to do one on my own. I guess this is a challenge. Is it a challenge? I don't know. Uh, the next video we do actually will be after this video. I'm going to double film today. It's going to be um, a... Uh, facts about me, like 10 facts about me kind of video. Um, oh my gosh. Anyway, he's adorable. Um, anyway, so let's just jump into the video. We're going to start off with primer. Now this is a mini that I got and I'm not a big fan of it. It's a Lorac uh, Light Source 3-in-1 Illuminating Primer. So we're going to put this all over my face. I have not moisturized today, but that's because I've noticed this primer is actually really moisturizing. I just don't like how dewy it makes my skin look. But honestly, it was the only primer I had. Um, so, yeah. I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to deal with it and hope that my skin does not look too bad. If it does, I'm just going to go make up less to work because I don't want to deal with that. You know what, I haven't even grabbed a lip product out. What's a lip product I just don't like? See, I have a couple. I actually have more lip products I don't like than I would think. Um, and then we'll see at the end of this look which one I want to use. We'll take that. I have a light pink one, and then I have this one from Found Beauty. It's just too watery. So let's uh, jump into the eyes. For the eye primer, I'm not a big fan of the shadow insurance from Too Faced. So we're going to use that, and we're actually also using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. Now this one is kind of known for not being the best, ooh, best palette. Um, and actually, I think that's why I got it at Marshalls, is I think a lot of people didn't like it. Kind of like the, uh, what's it called, from Anastasia. The subculture palette, like how that one just no one really liked how much fallout there was. Um, that's kind of how I feel this one is because I found both of those at um, Marshalls. Let's see. So, about this primer, I think it's just I have better ones, so that's why I don't use it as much as I really love the Urban Decay uh, one. So, I think that's why I don't use this one as much. I don't think it's like I actually have a problem with it. I just think it does crease, and my I feel like. The products that they say aren't waterproof on Too Faced page are actually, wait, that they say are waterproof are not, if that makes sense. And by the way, let's just pause for a minute. Um, I made my own caramel macchiato today in this cute Starbucks cup I got recently. If you guys want me to do like a video on how I make caramel macchiato at home for like dirt cheap, um, I'll definitely do that. I went yesterday mm, and uh, bought the tumbler from Starbucks. I went into the Starbucks store. I bought, um, sorry, that was really good. Um, I bought all of the ingredients I needed because I want to save more money with coffee. I don't want to go out and, you know, buy coffee all the time. And so we're going to switch our self. And so I thought, why not buy the ingredients I need for coffee? And by the way, have you noticed today I'm trying to do better at actually looking in the camera lens instead of at the viewfinder? And I think it's because... I want my videos to be better for y'all. I don't want to be like looking off into space if that's how it looks to you because I'm not looking at the viewfinder, um, which is what would capture my eyes um, towards you. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this. This is kind of weird because I see myself in the viewfinder out of my eye 
and then I'm looking directly at the camera, but it's okay. Um, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and start with um, the face. So for um, face products, I have two that I'm going to try out. I have the Found BB Cream, which I did a video and didn't, you know, obviously did not like this. And then Bare Minerals Powder Foundation, which I found this one at Marshalls. I used it like a little bit and did not like it. So the problem with this is there's like, like point, like negative zero um, coverage. Like that's my biggest problem and it has a weird smell on it. Okay. So I'm going to be distracted through most of this video because he's kind of adorable this morning. Okay, so we're just going to put this on. Literally, my only complaint is there is zero coverage. Maybelline has the one, the BB Fresh, that I love. And I just kind of go for that one. You're all over the place, aren't you? He's funny. He has, like, his, like, uh, claws just, like, dug into the ball trying to get the stuff out. It's actually kind of a good way to give a dog a, a treat or whatever is, like, let it, let it be something fun to play with. I kind of feel bad for him at the same time. I'm just going to use as much as I can get coverage without making it, like too thick. I have a recent breakout right here. And let me actually like zoom you guys in a little bit. Is that better? I think that would be better. Um, I think he's done being over here. Um, anyway, so I'm going to try to like add coverage on, but as you can see, it doesn't really do much. It just adds like a layer of like a tint. It should be more of like a tinted moisturizer than a BB cream. I think those are different. Um, but we're just going to add one more layer, which, I mean, on camera, it looks better than it does in real life. I've just noticed looking in the viewfinder, but it really, you can see this one has not been covered up at all. The ones on my chin are bright red still, so no, I don't think it's a very good product. Um, I mean, I guess if you're the kind of person who you just want something to even out your skin tone, I mean, still, I don't think this would be the product. I don't even know, like, what to say, because it doesn't, like, even your skin tone out. I mean, I'm not going to lie. My skin looks better than it did before I put this on. So I guess that would be, like, maybe, I don't even know, like, how to describe what it's doing to my skin. It's not like it makes it cakey. It's not like it makes it oily or anything. I just don't like it. I, it, like, I feel like I put it on and everything. And then it rubs off as I blend in. Like, I could just do like this, and I feel like the more layers I put on, the more it rubs off. It's not buildable at all. And I think it separates on the skin a little bit. I need to shake my mustache. But anyway. So, I'm just really excited for the next couple months. Jared and I are going to be doing more challenge videos together. Um, I'm going to let this kind of soak into the skin. Just kind of dry a little bit. I have dandruff at you. Uh, and we're going to move on to the so, oh, I need brush. There we go. Got to grab my brush drawer so we can do this. So, my dog got a hold of my beauty blender again because I kept it. I'd never used it or anything after he tore it up, but kept it on my thing and he jumped up there and grabbed it. So, I think he likes it a lot, but we ended up throwing it away. So, in this palette, we're going to take the shade Cashew Chew. I'm just going to say the names of the shades rather than show y'all just because... This video is going to be really long. So I'm just going to put this all over the lid. But yeah, I really want to do more challenge videos. I think the next one I do with J Jared, I really want to do the Never Have I Ever Challenge. Which is just where you do like different questions and stuff. Why don't y'all, if you guys watch this video, put down in the comments below a Never Have I Ever that we should do. And also, if there are any videos you guys think that we should really um, add on this channel, let me know because I want to know. So then we're going to take Almond Truffle with the same brush. And this is just from the Sylvia Ganny collection from BH Cosmetics. It's just like a, the number 101. It's like a fluffy blending brush. Um, this one is actually kind of stiff. I wanted to use it because I haven't used it in a while. Um, a lot of times you'll see I actually feature products on my channel that I don't like. Just to give them another try randomly in videos. To see if maybe my opinions on them have changed. Maybe I needed to use a different method. Um, and so that's why I'm featuring this brush today, because it's a brush I didn't really like, but yeah. So the only problem with this palette is the colors are not very pigmented. I feel like if you want natural makeup with a little bit of, like, options for glam, this is a good palette for you. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big fan. I'm going to take the shade Mocha now, and that's going to go on the very outer area. It's just in kind of a cool tone brown. 
But yeah, I want to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys enjoy watching these videos, let me know down below. Also, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Um, okay, so I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something super profound. I don't know what it was, but it was kind of important and not important all at the same time. Um, anyway, so yeah. I'm actually really excited to see where this channel goes, to watch it grow, become more of a family. And I love how people have like names for their YouTube families, like the um, Taylor. I don't even know her last name. She has like the burrito, uh, <laughs> Payrito family. I just called it a burrito family. That was really, really harsh. Malted is the next color, by the way. Um, Anyway, and I would love to do something like that. Why don't y'all put your opinions down below as well? Just put everything down below. I want to hear everything. I want to hear how your day is going. I want to hear, like, what have you been up to? I want to stop hearing the dog in the background banging on his kennel. I want to hear everything. So now that I have, like, some colors in the crease, um, I guess this might be... Could you stop? Hopefully this doesn't ruin the video, but I don't want to stop him now because he's entertained. Give me one sec. Alrighty, sorry about that. So I, man, I threw it in there because it was stuck and he brought it back in here because he wants to be near his mother, um, apparently. We're going to take the shade, I don't even know. They have a couple of different fun shades. I'm going to take Black Current, which is just like a dark purple. And yeah, we're, go we're going all over the lid with this one. This is why I didn't want to do my face before I did my eyes, is because I know this palette has really bad, bad fallout, and I didn't even grab that much on my hand. But anyway, uh, I don't even know what I was saying before. Um, oh yeah, so if you guys have like a name that you think we should do, let me uh, know. I thought about the Dyers, because my last name is Dye. But at the same time... I just want to hear what you guys want to do because y'all are what makes up this family. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to take that fluffy blending brush again. We're just going to blend out the crease. This area right here is bothering me. We're going to try to dust it off. See, it didn't dust off very good. I don't like this BB cream at all. Where is my beauty blender or my uh, blending sponge? Got it. Just going to go underneath and just kind of blend it up. That worked a little bit. And then just blend the crease. We're going to take Dark Truffles, which is a dark, dark shade. Well, it says it's a dark, dark shade, but it doesn't look very dark when you apply it. See, these don't blend very easily at all. They just kind of... They just kind of move around. Can you see how, like, choppy that looks? Ah, <sighs> dang it. I don't even know what this is right here. I don't even know. I want to know. I just don't. But do you see what I'm saying? Like how like choppy it looks? <laughs> Whatever. Um, so then I'm going to take Earl Grey. And I'm just going to go. Oh, I actually like that color. I know I probably shouldn't be mixing purple with like a dark blue, but I just did. Kind of, I think I'm going to have to redo my eyes before I go to work or take my makeup off because it might be a problem. Oh, I need to go change the laundry out too. I'm doing laundry this morning before I go to work because I can. I wanted to do a dark look here and I'm succeeding. I'm going to take Earl Grey and just kind of pop it down here. Um, actually, you know what? It's going everywhere because I don't like that purple. Um, so this palette is not really that good if you're wanting a dark look. And my real complaint about the palette is just they don't blend out very easily. And when they do blend, it looks bad. Even like, because you guys have seen my makeup looks. I can do some good makeup looks here and there. And I'm not saying that to be prideful. I'm just saying I'm not like someone who's like really, really not um, good. And that's why this palette isn't working out for me. I honestly know a little bit. By the way, I'm taking coffee. A light, a light, late, cafe, cafe, oh, late, and putting it in the center of my eyelid just to kind of add a little sparkle. 
but this palette just honestly does not work for me. I've done natural shades. I think the only thing this is really good for is if you want a supernatural look. I'm taking satin sheets as a highlight in the inner corner of my eye. Just kind of blending out. And the brow bone. You know what? It's fine. I don't even care. Um, for my brows, I actually don't have any products I don't like, so I'm just going to stop the camera. I'm going to go do my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, so most likely this video is going to be unedited as far as I'm not going to add a bunch of stuff into it. No, like, anything, no music or anything. Uh, the only, re or maybe music. The only reason is my editor will only let me do 20 minutes at a time, and it's a really good editor. It just will only let me do a 20 minute video. I don't understand that. So that's why this video I know is going to be a little over 20 minutes, and there's nothing I want to cut out, and we're just going to keep it as is. And by the way, for my brows, I did the Lorac Take a Brow. I love this powder. It's so good. And the black shade is actually a really good fit for my, for my makeup. So then um, I don't have any eyeliner that I don't like. Um, we have some concealer I don't like. I'm not a big fan of the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Let me say this. It is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So if you like Tarte Shape Tape, you will love this. I do not like Tarte Shape Tape. It's too dry for my skin. I just have dry skin. So that's just, you know, my personal thing. So it has nothing to do with it being a bad product. I'm just not a big fan of it on my own skin. Um, it's just too dry. And it dries quickly. So I need to work kind of fast. I mean, it has insane coverage for being a $5 concealer, $5, $4, $6 concealer, but it is just too dry for my skin, um, and I don't feel like it blends out very easily just because it is so drying. So, that's just my only thing about it, is just I personally cannot use it. And you notice, it actually is so thick, it wiped away all that BB cream I just had on. Uh, this is going to be a devastating look today. And it's not, I'm not rubbing on it, I'm just pouncing it. Just trying to blend it, and it's still giving me problems. Sir, that is slobbery. I don't want it on my foot. Okay. Um, then for powder, I actually haven't laid one out. I don't even think I have one that I don't like. I'm trying to think. I actually, oh yes, there is one that I'm not like, I not like I don't like it, it's just I haven't used it in forever, so we're just going to feature it. It's this e.l.f. powder, and it's actually really good, I just personally am not the biggest fan of it. Like, I mean, it's, I don't even know what to say, like, it's not like I'm not a big fan of it or anything like that, it just doesn't, doesn't work for me as well as the Rimmel Stay Matte. I have, a, I have one that I like better, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to set this concealer, set it, forget it, and all that stuff. We're going to do some kind of like a baking situation going on here. I'm baking. I'm a real YouTuber. So I actually don't mind what the eyes turned out like. They just turned out really dark and kind of grungy. I'm fine with that. I just feel like the, the, just the eyeshadows do not blend very well. Okay. We're going to do the bottom lash line, so let's grab... This brush right here, we're going to take the shade Cafe Al Latte, or Light, or whatever it's supposed to be. That's going to go kind of on the inner area. And then we're going to take Earl Grey, and we're going to smoke out that bottom lash line. Just kind of a darker look. Okay. I guess I'm not wearing eyeliner. Let's put some mascara on. I'm using the LA Girl Oomfa, which is a newer product to me. I just don't, don't like it. I don't like the brush. It has no... I don't know. It's just... I don't like it. And it doesn't do anything for me. And I have naturally curly eyelashes, but this does not... It literally just separates them and darkens them a tiny bit. You see what I'm talking about? Like, it doesn't really make a difference. And it doesn't layer very well. It's very, like, it dries really hard, almost. So it doesn't layer. And by the way, that BB cream is separating on my skin. I don't know if you guys can tell.
Okay, so it looks like we have a halfway decent eye look. I actually kind of like how the eyes turned out. Just don't like the shadows the way they blend. So let's go ahead and dust off my bake. I'm just going to take some of the powder all over the rest of my face. So it actually is really, um, the whole look looks very brightening. Even that powder, actually, I think I might start using that again. Because it did really, really good things for my face. Oh my goodness. I want a little bit more of it for this eye to like sharpen it. Because that's what it did for the other eye. <gasps> Should I start using this again? Oh. This is why you do a video like this. You learn things you didn't know about products you used to hate. You know, maybe you don't like a product. You learn that actually it's not as bad as you thought. I'm just putting this all over the rest. I guess that one's just going to be hanging out today. Just, yeah, this looks horrible. Like, this area actually turned out pretty good. The concealer is really drying, but this all is separated. Oh my god. It's just not a good product. So for a highlighter, we're going to do this Wet n Wild Color Icon. It's actually broken. Um, and this is the Unicorn Glow. It's a rainbow highlighter. I just, it's, I have better highlighters. That's really all it comes down to. It has nothing to do with it being a horrible product. Oh my gosh, it just broke into a thousand pieces when I, like, tapped on it. Okay, looks like we got some blue there. Oh, <gasps> no. No, it's like... This product actually is not just breaking because of me. It's actually breaking, breaking. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, all it does is, like, puts, like, a blue hue on my skin. It doesn't highlight it. Can you tell what I'm saying? Like, there's, like, blue lines, and I'm blending, but there's, like, no highlight to it. I'm just not a fan of this. It's one of those products, I just don't know why I have it. A uh, highlighter, this may come as a shock, but it's actually, the, my least favorite highlighter I own is the NARS Orgasm. To me, I think it makes my skin look kind of sweaty, uh, personally, and that just may be my own skin just not a big fan so this video actually turned out just like I thought it would I, w I was thinking that this would be a look I wouldn't be able to wear to work because the products are not good and I was 100% 100% work right now the eyes I may actually keep the eyes on today I like the darkness but the skin makeup definitely has to go like and I even blended it down but there's like areas that is separating a little bit um, let's go ahead and add a lip product we're gonna use this one from found beauty I'm not going to contour. There you go. And you may be like, that actually is a really cute lip color and everything. My issue with this product is that it's too runny. So see, I didn't even put it there and it's running out. It's just a very runny product. And this is from Found Beauty. It's actually, if they would make it a little bit thicker, it would be a really good liquid lipstick. It's just too runny to be a liquid lipstick. So I guess that's it for the face today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it. It was a little bit longer than I hoped, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so definitely it turned out kind of like I thought. I actually, if there are any products that I would use again, it would be the powder. Oh, I didn't end up using this, did I? This Beer Mineral stuff. Um, it's a powder foundation. So we'll try that out some other time. Um, the powder I would use again. Like, I probably may incorporate that into my... Uh, makeup for now on. I actually like how it kind of brightens the under eye. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. The eyeshadows, I mean, I would use for a more, I mean, I actually may even do this look again. I don't mind it, but those are the only two products I would actually use again. What did you guys think? Did it turn out good? Did it turn out bad? Did it turn out, eh? 
Just let me know down below. Look at those eyelashes. They are non-existent. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment down below, all that fun stuff. And if you want us to do a never, never have I ever, make sure you comment down your never have I ever's down below. See you later. Bye.